Hello everyone, I'm Mercury5. And I am Sandman99. And welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with Joe Smurd. Yes, and we are standing here at the doors of the Lucky 38, uh, contemplating how exactly we're going to eliminate Mr. House when he appears to be just a robot on the screen. It's okay. Yeah. Go ahead and, dr <laughs> and, and drink your yeah, orange you, liquid. You wouldn't. You wouldn't let me take my drink I before promise, we started. I promise. I won't make any <laughs> funny noises that make you spit it up again. Yeah. yeah. I was. I was making funny noises like oh, 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 when, when he was about to do drink his drink, and now it looks like he's going to spit it back into the bottle. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. I know you can. <laughs> <coughs> oh god <laughs> anyway uh, we're going to um, I guess just go in here and see what we have to do because we do have a quest marker to follow I have no idea what to do but for all I know Mr. House could be on to us already anyways because he seems to uh See everything and know everything? See everything and know everything. He's in the penthouse, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, make sure to get a good gun equipped. Yep. We'll have our riot shotgun ready to go. Visitors will be held responsible for the behavior of any robots accompanying them. There are no robots accompanying me. Okay, um... I'm going to follow this thing here because obviously uh, the TV screen there with Mr. House's face on it. What the hell? More robots. Yeah, but... I think you're going to find a lot of robots around here. I know, but I'm trying to figure out where this quest marker is. Right? Right? And it doesn't seem to be making any sense. In that dresser? Nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> Not in the dresser. I personally don't think Mr. House exists except as a uh, program on that computer thing and I have no idea what to do here. Well there's a computer terminal over there I don't know. I looked at that one that's over there and I can't do anything with it like this one here. It's just off yeah it's just off. Yeah right. Oh look some caps. Yeah well you know might as well. While fill, you're here fill my pockets while I'm here wow he's got a safe full of pre-war money You know you want that paperweight. Not really, no. Um, it's so weird. It's like... Huh. It's a puzzle, I guess. So what are we supposed to do? Hey, look who's here! Getting a greeting from the Securitron? Visitors will be held responsible for the behavior of any robots accompanying them. Okay. Maybe it's down on this floor? Yeah, maybe. You need to go. We'll go this way. Oh, there's a terminal over there. I can activate it too. Open antechamber. Uh, Unauthorized user, proceed. This, yes. this, this is how everything proceeds to go with you anyways. Yeah, pretty much. Time to draw your gun. Whoa, well, you're going to get killed yeah, here. Well, I'm trying to do something, Holy but I shit. can't. Right? Like I tried to... Uh, what the hell's going on here? I think you got nuked. Yeah, but... He did nothing this there. Okay. Well, these things are extremely dangerous. Yeah, it appears. But I couldn't even, uh... This doesn't seem like a, uh... 
really, really possible thing to do here. It might be if you were to lay landmines or something. Got a lot of landmines. Uh, well, I don't know if I can uh, safely mine these things either, right? Because I know in Fallout 4, if you uh, drop a mine at the foot of a robot, the f damn thing goes off in your face, right? I suppose you could try, and you and might want to get your pulse rounds out too. Yeah, okay, well... For dealing with robots. I don't have very many of those. Okay. You know what? I think I might need to gain a whole ton of levels before I come back here and do this. Because I think I'm outgunned just a little bit. Bigger so? Yeah, I don't know what else I can do here, really. Maybe we'll go and do some of the other... Uh, Work uh, for the king? Well, yeah, some other side quests or something, right? Ah. Uh. Maybe we'll do some more of the DLC things. See if we can gain a few more levels and become a little bit more bulletproof. All right. Because I think that is just a little bit too much. Maybe you should have thought about that before upgrading the Securitrons. Yeah, maybe that would have <laughs> a bad idea to do that. But <laughs> at the time, I hadn't decided that Mr. House was a dick, though, right? Yeah, that's true. Well, I guess I don't need the pulse slugs anymore now. I can just go back to regular... Regular ammo. Yeah, and we'll use this for now. Okay, well... Yeah, I don't know really what to do here. There's a number of things that we could do. Uh, well, we could go and talk to the followers of the Apocalypse about letting Jerry the Punk join. I don't really care, though. It is something that would give you XP, though. I suppose. And it yeah. is right here in town. Okay, we'll do that. As I'm not sure what the level cap is, but I think I've got to be uh, a lot, a lot higher level. Or a lot more strategic. Yeah, but how do you, you're basically being set up, right? Like you're you're accessing a terminal and it's not allowed, and then suddenly every robot in the place starts shooting you, right? I think you have to like be prepared to run away. It's pretty much a um, one of those things where it's like a setup. There's nothing that you can do about it, right? Well, if you could kill the one robot in front of you and landmine the staircase behind you to hell and back. Yeah, maybe. Hey. Anyway, we'll we'll gain a few more levels first before we uh Cuz you do, you do have a lot of la landmines in storage, I think of varying types. I don't know. I'll start if collecting them bought, anyway. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Okay. Uh where's the Mormon place? It's like right, right there. there. It's like right there. The old Mormon fort. It's literally an old Mormon fort. Yeah. Hi. Hey, where did... Oh, crap. I gotta go and collect my followers again now. Oh, we forgot to do that. Well, I yeah. guess we should pause. To Mick and, Ralph's for all your shopping needs. and we're back. Yes, and we have Veronica and, and Eddie Ralph's with us again. And we're going to go into the Mormon fort. Who do we need to talk to? I guess we'll just follow the arrow, hey? Oh, okay. Hey, I heard about the bug getting destroyed in the Lucky 38. We'll get in there eventually. It's just a matter of time. Okay. I met a kid who's unsatisfied. We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? Bad poetry? Hmm. Well, I suppose we could always use another junior archivist in the library. All right. Tell him we'll accept him as a probationary initiate. Okay. Bye. But now we have to hike all the way back out there again? Yep, apparently you do. <sighs> Some of these people, they're just too... 
They can't even be bothered to do some of the legwork on their own. Okay. Well, is there a DLC and somewhere near where we're going? I, I have wonder? no idea. You should check. Yeah. Because maybe what we'll do is we'll... Uh... Okay. So where does this... Let's see what this looks like on the map. We can make the map smaller. No, that is in the opposite direction of where we're going. Okay. But only just across the way. <laughs> just across the way. Yeah, just in, across the entire... Okay, happy, <laughs> happy trails. Um, oops. Okay, well that's sort of on the way. That's sort of out of the way. No. Well, yeah, well, actually, though, in order to get around New Vegas, we'll probably have to make our way around there somewhat anyway. Okay, what else have we got? Midnight Science Fiction Feature. Oh, okay, that's way down there. Although, I suppose, after we uh, wander all the way around to here, we could always just head down there or something, right? I don't know. We got one that could go here, Northern Passage. And we got one way over here somewhere, right? And then we got the one way down here. But none of these look like they're really going to be on the way. I guess you're just going to have to figure out something you want to do. Okay, well, I guess first of all we have to go and uh, talk to Jerry. So I guess we'll do that, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. Am I going the right way? I think so. Yeah, looks like it. Sure, be a lot easier if I could take the bus or something. The bus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, they should have bus service here. Although the train service isn't so good, I hear. <laughs> yeah, well, the, you you kind of blew that one, didn't you? Quite literally. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to. How was I supposed to know I wouldn't be able to defuse the bomb once I got, got went there and found it? Ah. Uh. Quiet road. Yep, the quiet road. Hopefully I have an easier time finding this stupid place this time. Well, you kind of had that idea that you needed to go down the road and then uh, find that... Uh, yeah, this little uh, yeah thing right here. Which I guess kind of sort of leads there, right? Uh, kind of, sort of? Kind of, sort of. Yeah. Well, I would imagine that lots of people watching this have played this game plenty of times before, and they're probably groaning and shaking their heads at the, some of the things that I do. Yeah, or, probably. Or don't do. Or maybe they're laughing their asses off. That could be too. Hey, maybe there's a path through here. Uh, 
Uh oh. Yeah, those things are pretty nasty. Yeah, I'm just trying to get better than like a 52% chance to hit. I think you actually managed to avoid getting hit there. Yeah. From knocking them down. Right? Uh oh. Is there more? Don't see any more. Okay. Maybe I should keep this out just in case, eh? Hey. Wow, that's terrible. You need to get out of the way. I don't I don't think it actually really matters what your chance to hit is because that weapon has some spread on it. I think you'll hit at least partially anyways. I would just go for it if I were you. things out here. Yeah, there's a lot of them, isn't there? There's one coming from the top right. Maybe. Or coming around the bend on the left. Yeah, one or the other. Where are you? Oh, stop your complaining. No, oh, she's poisoned again, isn't she? Yeah. Brewer's beer bot bootlegging. Okay. Well, let's see what's in here. Well, a lot of empty bottles by the looks of it. Some jet. Ventats. Bottle caps. Sunset a star bottle cap. Hey. How are you doing? You okay? Is she still alive? Yeah. Okay, well uh let's uh use a stim pack on you. Oh, okay, it shows me how she's doing. Okay, well. These things are supposed to work over time a little bit. I wouldn't worry about it. She'll figure it out. She isn't going to drop on you anyways. Yeah, well, I've got lots of them, so I might as well... Right? I can unlock this door. Wow, that was sudden. Like I unlocked the door and then burst through it. 
The anti-loading door door. Yeah. The gun cabinet. Okay. That must have been too far. Oh, come on. Just gotta set those individual tumblers, man. There. What the? Okay. Well, there's a bobby pin to replace the one I broke. Good thing, too. They're not common. Yeah. The explosives crate. Oh, grenade, mine, grenade, grenade, grenade. Okay. BBs? Yep, for a BB gun. Yeah. Okay, grenade, mine. I'll take the wrench, too. There's an idea. You could, like, throw some dynamite, access computer terminal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, I got a star bottle cap out of that, too. Oh. You got three more chances. Yeah. And not a one of them. Oh well, they're still caps. Big book of science. What's a big book of science? Something that permanently increases your science, I'm guessing. Yep. Science increased by three. Strategic nuclear moose. And God said, let them have beer. Uh. Hmm, okay. Well, there's definitely a lot of beer around. Yeah. Chug, 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 chug. Sixteen beers. Oh man, he's gonna chug the beers. <laughs> really? Yeah, apparently you're dehydrated too now. Wow. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what happens when you drink 16 beers. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, let's see here. Well, the odd thing is, I don't need to drink water, usually. So, uh, it seems a little strange that I would be suffering from dehydration. Wow. 
Yeah. Wow. <laughs> See, is this many beers is as bad as the absinthe. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Now we know the effects get stronger the more you drink. Yeah. We learned something. Well, now I can't see well enough to be able to navigate. Oh, you're doing fine. Is this a path? Maybe? As long as you don't fall off of it, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be bad, hey? hey? Oh. Uh, yeah. Let's not shoot, uh... Just fire away. See, I told you you'd hit it. Which <laughs> one, though? I think there was only one. <laughs> oh, here comes another one. Where? Up top there. Eddie had detected it briefly. I guess it didn't come down. No. Wow. Even the terrain is double vision here. And Veronica goes, how many fingers am I holding up? Twelve? <laughs> hmm. I don't appear to be able to walk up this slope. That's just because you can't see the slope. But apparently there's a whole bunch of shit coming down there. Oh. Well, it looks like it just suddenly wore off. Yeah. It looks like your H2O is going down now, too. Is it? Yeah, so I guess you still get temporarily dehydrated from mass alcohol consumption, but it comes back. Yeah. After a time. Now it's down to 246. Okay. So if you were to drink enough alcohol in one sitting, it still could kill you. I suppose. But 16 beers isn't enough. <laughs> okay, so this is a path here. Your dehydration level has decreased. You no longer have dehydration sickness. That's good. Yeah, literally it would seem it was just the extreme amount of beer you drank. <laughs> well, you know, gotta test the limits, right? Yeah, what is that? You're just sitting there, you pop all the caps off and you go like this? Yep, just basically uh, turn them all upside down at once. Whoop. See if we can sneak up on these things. I'm not very sneaky, though. No, you're you're horribly not sneaky. Yeah. But your your allies are now fighting with them, so they don't notice you. <laughs> there you go, you found out another way to sneak. Yeah. I have a feeling your allies are gonna go down from all those Cazadors. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if poison affects Eddie or not. Oh, apparently it does. You are a terrible shot. Am I? There you go. Yeah, 9mm pistols fire pretty quick. Yeah, it actually worked okay for that, didn't it? That one's stuck in a rock. I think Veronica hit it into the rock. Oh, got you. Apparently it didn't poison you, though. Wow, what was that? That was Eddie reassembling. Oh, okay. 
they're all good. See, I knew I was keeping this pistol for a reason. Yeah, well, honestly, I'm surprised you haven't tried it until now. But yeah, 9mm pistols are pretty good, because I went with the whole grunt route, right? So 9mm was one of my main guns. Oh, did she just pass out from the poison again? I imagine she's got it stacked on her pretty damn hard. Mm. I mean, you saw how many of those things there were. Yep. Well, they weren't taking a very strategic or tactical approach. Well, I don't think they're very smart. I think they're just dangerous. No, I'm talking about Veronica and Eddie. Oh. <laughs> who also don't appear to be very smart. Yes, well, Eddie is a, like, pre-war robot, and Veronica is a punch-things person. What's going on with you? She's, like, three-quarters dead. That's what's going on with her. I don't think I can go any further this way, because that I can't fit through there. Nope. No, you're going to have to find a way around. Damn it. If I remember that correctly, you had to follow the road all the way around. Well, I was looking for another way. But well, I guess... you, you did find a whole bunch of Cazadors. Yeah. If you were interested in that. And beer. Yeah, that too. And you got to be shit-faced. <laughs> you were literally shit-faced. Oh, stop complaining. You'll be fine. Yeah, it's just the poison. Who knows, maybe that one stim pack wasn't enough. Well, I think the poison is supposed to wear off after a while, right? I think she's just heavily stacked on poison because of how many there were. Okay, she seems to be doing a little better now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally just the extreme stacking of poison. You know, when you go to kill the robots, you might want to borrow her melee weapon. Because the damn thing ignores damage resistance, right? Yeah. I think this thing does too, though. Oh, do you got something else that does? Yeah, I picked up that, uh... What's it called? Um... Something glory. Hold glory. Oh, okay, bonus critical chance, bonus critical damage. <laughs> well, yeah, because if you're right in that thing's face and it's shooting rockets at you, you might just want to beat the crap out of it before it can kill you. Yeah, well, I'm going to see how many levels I can gain before I go back there. Are you still with me? Okay. Everybody's still coming. Well, that was a waste of time. Oh, you did get experience for killing Cazadors, I guess. Yeah, but it looked like it was going to be a uh, path to follow until it turned into a dead end, right? Yeah, sadly, there's a lot of uh, invisible walls in this game that you can't really bypass. Kind of annoying. But it is what it is. At least you got to do some exploring. <laughs> yeah. And shooting bugs. Okay, well, we've been here before. Yeah, those things are very, very deadly. Well, getting hit by that one didn't seem to really bother me much, though. No, but it was only just the one. If you got, uh, jumped by all of them, like, uh, uh, oh. oh. Crap, here comes some more of these guys now. If you got jumped by all of them like Veronica did, you'd probably be pretty toast, too. No, oh, he did. That worked pretty good. That thing does them all in in just a couple of shots, huh? Yep.
No, you have to reload. There you go. Problem solved. Yeah, I don't think those plates on the front really did much for him. Yeah, they don't stop 4570s very well at all, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, he's got some, too. Well, thankfully, he didn't shoot you with it. That probably well, would have hurt. Well, he, he probably tried. you have. Okay, I'll take some of those. Oh, he had a ripper. They must pick each other's weapons up after one of them gets killed or something. Yeah, I think they do. Either that or the, these guys were just armed to the teeth. Well, I guess we'll see from the last guy here. Well, see, that guy had no guns, but he had a little bit of ammunition on him, and another guy had, like, two guns, right? Oh, there's a mine. Yeah, pulse mines will be good. things are going to wrap around here real quick and you're going to be well liked by Caesar's Legion. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Okay, well, I got a spare one to maintain that with. Yeah, I don't think you've actually used that thing yet. Okay. I can wait for a little bit before I do anything with that. Yeah, maybe I should. Just for the fun of it, hey? If I can figure out where it is. There it is. It's just that I don't know how accurate this thing's going to be at long, you know, like any further away. What's on than your left? Oh, okay, just... Evil big horns? Evil big horns. Okay, I think we're on our way in here now. Well, maybe after this, they'll only dislike you. I don't know. I noticed a path further back there that I must have missed earlier that goes up. Now, yeah, maybe you should maybe head there. Yeah, maybe there's more... Uh... Okay, where is this guy? He's sleeping in his tent. Might maybe. be sleeping in his tent. right now the followers of yeah they did oh that's great thank you I'm out of this crummy camp okay I don't see how that's going to make the uh, cons like me better but you know ah well, I guess it didn't oh well yeah
being oh, somewhere over this way. Although you're right, I got a nice little bit of experience for doing that. Every little bit helps. Maybe the boss lives higher up on the hill or well, something. Well, there's some more tents that we haven't discovered yet, so... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's an open door on your left. Okay, nope, they're just regular schmucks. Ooh, looks like maybe they spent the night getting shit-faced, too. <laughs> Except you didn't have to sleep it off. Yeah. Regis. Regis. Reg Regis. I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Cons? Uh, well, who are you? Name's Regis. I'm Papa Khan's advisor and right-hand man. I'm also the chief enforcer of the tribe's laws, so watch your behavior. Mm -hmm. Okay. Papa is one of the best leaders the Khans have ever had. He's kept well. us together through all of our hardships ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes I worry that's poisoned his mind. Oh, what did you mean about that? Nothing. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. Okay, what's your That's opinion? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. So if you were in charge, you would fight for the NCR? I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now. And he's not going anywhere. Oh, sounds like a possible Until problem for you to solve. Uh, well, assuming that I care, because uh, I think this whole NCR um, um, Caesar's Legion thing is pretty much over. Yeah, well, you know, the Caesar's <laughs> Legion is just nuke now, so... Yeah, since this is how this, this place looks important. Uh -oh. uh oh, we just had a crash. <laughs> we will be back. And we're back. Yes, and as it turns out, we had an autosave mere seconds before approaching the building, so we didn't actually leave any, lose any uh, playtime here. But we did find the Great Con Lawning House here now. Yeah. Carl's been in a shitty mood since that big explosion at the fort. Okay, so he's just a rank-and-file guy. He's a rank-and-file guy. Who are you? Rank-and-file guy. Yeah. Okay. Rank-and-file guy. Okay. Carl. That's Carl. Not the Carl that he's hands, though. Not the Carl what? That eats hands. What Carl is that? Uh, anybody who's ever watched uh, Llamas with Hats would understand that reference. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's starting to feel like tensions are coming to a boil. There will be full-scale war soon. Oh, okay. can't get through that one. Can't get in there. Okay. Where did Carl go? Wasn't he in his room laying on his bed? Yeah, but he's not there now. Oh, there he oh, is. Oh, he's sitting at his desk. Yeah. I had been warned about you. You were perilously close to making an enemy of Caesar, and that is not wise. Yeah, who are you? Whoops. Oh. I guess I, uh... You double-clicked. Yeah. Button's wearing out. Okay. What's your role? I'm one of the Frumentari. It is my duty to scout the waste in Caesar's name and make contact with any tribes that might serve a useful purpose. You might say I'm somewhere between a scout and an ambassador. I'm assigned here as part of the alliance between the Legion and the Great Khans. Yeah. In exchange for Great Caesar's promise of all the lands west of New Vegas, the Khans have agreed to fight alongside the Legion when the time comes. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen. 
Though they have been cruelly oppressed by the NCR, the Khans remain great warriors. The Legion is honored to have such allies in battle. Okay. Speak then. Okay. Yes. Guess we guess uh He's a Caesar's Legion guy. Yeah, they're probably pretty much programmed to talk in a certain Caesar's way though. Sure and I think I might have screwed things up by uh nuking <laughs> the the uh, Caesar's Legion lands, right? Either that or uh, they're not aware of it yet. Yeah. Well, what time is it anyway? It's uh, 6.24. So I guess maybe if I waited for a bit, maybe uh, Buddy will come out and I can talk to him. Yeah, he'll come and sit at his funny table. Hey. Yeah. If I can figure out. Here we go. Okay. We'll wait for two hours. How about that? Those black armor devils. Caesar's might be veterans new to are the making short work of the NCR. The rest. And that's what I hear. Yeah. Well, you your knowledge is a little out of date. Looks like this guy's gonna get up at like the crack of nine or something. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> oh, there you go. There's somebody sitting over there. Oh, it just Regis again. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. This this motherfucker never wakes up. Yeah, well, I guess it, if you're if you're in charge, you can sleep as late as you want. He's still not up. He's got his fancy chair back there. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What? Oh, here he comes. Is that him? Must be him. The guy with the funny hat. Yep, the guy with the funny hat. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, cub? Um. <laughs> you march you? all the way out to Red Black <laughs> <laughs> I'm as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the great cons. The con of cons, if you like. This is my tribe. And these are my people. Okay. What can you tell you me about them? the story of the Great Khans? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered, but we will regain our glory. Okay. Um... Okay. In a hurry, are you? Very well, then. The Great Khans came east, out of the NCR 14 years ago. We ruled the wastes then, and called no man master. But we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. How did the three families defeat they you? They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. Okay, what happened at Bitter Springs? When the NCR Springs? came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They uh. couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. Sounds to me like when you asked for it. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> fled through a nearby pass. The NCR gunned them down. Hmm, that doesn't sound like something the NCR would order. Oh, they claimed it was a miscommunication, but tell that to those who saw our families butchered. Tell it to the survivors who were banished here. Okay, let's talk about Typical. something else. No reference for history in the younger generations. Hmm. Okay, well, I want you to break your alliance with the dead Have you now? nation. Hmm. Well, uh, you're a bold one. I'll with the dead that. nation. But for the living nation. For you. Uh, well, let's see here. Caesar's only using you. Doesn't he? Caesar's representative tells a different tale. The glory of the great cons will be restored. And once the NCR is pushed back to California, all the land from here to the Colorado will be ours. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The great cons will answer Caesar's call to war and the NCR will pay for their crimes. Okay, well, I guess that's the end of that. I didn't even have a chance to persuade him. 
Yeah, and you're like crazy persuasive. Farewell. Okay, well, you know what? Up yours, buddy. You can sit here in your uh, broken down old ranch house with your one surviving member of the Caesar's Legion. I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. Oh, <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. Okay, what is it you, you have in mind? You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. Okay. Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular. Me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. Okay. Aren't you convinced already? I have my doubts about Caesar, yes. But I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. Okay, what would convince Jack and Diane? to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. Okay, what about Melissa? Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Pava. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get. <laughs> well, hey. you already you already know how to do that to people. Um. Yeah, getting rid of people is what I do. <laughs> I would too if I were you. Okay. Well, now we've got all kinds of quest markers. Just like that, you've started a new quest line. Yeah. And with a new quest line comes more experience possibilities. Yes, and lots of traveling. Including going back to the Caesar's Legion fort there. Yeah. What else can we do here? We could go there. That looks fairly close by. Right? At least as far as close by goes. Yeah. Well... Weren't Jack and Diane like the uh, at the drug place? Yeah, here? I think they were the drug people, weren't not they? Not too, not too far away from here. Yeah, they're just inside the uh, uh, passageway uh, inside the crevice in the cliff here. Which way? This way? Yeah, and then on the, on your right. Yeah. Yeah, in here, right? Yeah. I don't know how I missed that passageway up to the top there the first time I was here. Well, maybe you're a little bit more <laughs> like me than you think. Uh, you know, tunnel vision, Carl's point and shoot. Since that big explosion at the fort. I've never been a good exploration guy myself, although you are a little bit better at it than me. You're the one who saw the passageway up the second time around. I probably just would have wandered around like in this place with my head cut off until I'd found everything. Okay, well, don't know where Diane is, but Jack's sitting right there, so we'll talk to Jack. Hey, what's up? I'm here to ask you to publicly oppose Papa Khan's alliance with Caesar. Huh? Look, uh kitty cat, me and Diane, we don't dig on that politics stuff, savvy? We just make the product and make it get to a good home. Sure. Caesar's a drag, but as long as we got each other, we don't care who the top dogs roll with. Okay. Oh, that's you, easy. You, the Legion will kill you and sell Diane into slavery as a prostitute. Dude, what a total haul. No way that's Copa Shishi. Yeah, okay. Me and Diane got your back. No sweat. Okay. Bye. Take it easy, kitty cat. All right, that was pretty easy. But you what? know, with some of your fancy melee weapons, you could probably sneak in on Carl while he's sleeping. Think so? Yep. 
As long as that door closes. I don't know if that door closes. That's a yeah. good question. Well, we'll wait until we uh, finish some of these other uh, uh, little odd the jobs spreads its infection to another town, I guess. before we uh, think about assassinating Carl. Although See, that should make the Legion like you better. Carl sends his regards. Oh! <laughs> okay. I hope you'll be a half-decent challenge. Watch out! Where'd he go? There he is. Around the rock. Running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Okay, well, I'm going to shoot the crap out of him with this here submachine gun. Well, that worked pretty well. Oh, it looks like he brought some help. I think that gun works pretty good. Yeah, it does. I like it. It doesn't take too terribly long to reload either. And just like that, Caesar's Legion likes you even more. Yeah, That's well, why they keep sending friends at you. Actually, right? actually, I think Carl sent these guys. He obviously sees me as a threat to his non-existing alliance. It's okay, you'll take care of him soon enough. Yeah, these guys are pretty easy compared to the four-man hit squads. The four-man high squads? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you got me convinced. I like the 12.7 millimeter submachine gun, okay? I mean, I've never used one before. This was just kind of an experiment, really. Yeah. Well, it appears to be... It appears to be a very effective piece of hardware. So I guess we'll just head out this way. Hey, how's our uh, dehydration thing doing now, anyway? I think you're totally not dehydrated again. Yep, okay. So we'll just have to remember that 16 beers is maybe a little bit too many. <laughs> the health recommendation is less than 16 beers in 5 minutes. Yeah, well actually that took me uh, just over halfway to probably what would be death by dehydration. Yeah, so there you go. Next, don't so, drink 32 beers. So yeah, don't drink 32 beers. It'll kill you. Yeah, do not drink two <laughs> to the power of five beers. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. What are we doing here? Okay, so that's where we just came from, right? Yep, and I think that's the marker for killing Carl. Is that the marker for killing Carl? Okay. I think it is the marker for killing Carl. So, the next place we want to go to looks like... It's down near Good Springs Cemetery. Some, somewhere pretty close to Good Springs, yeah. Okay. And you've got some enemies detected on the right there, but no idea if they're actually alerted to you or coming after you or what. Well, Eddie Eddie's detection yeah, range. Eddie's detection range, right? It's further than my detection range, and it appears to be further than most enemies' detected detection range, too. Well, as long as it's uh, uh, <laughs> not a uh, four-man uh, Legion party squad. Yeah, well, so far, though, I, uh, generally speaking, don't seem to have too much trouble handling those guys. So you know why they shoot at you, right? Because you didn't have another bottle of hunting brew mead to share with them. Uh-huh. Yeah. But speaking of which, I wonder what kind of shape my armor is in. I haven't checked that in a while. It looks Looking like, to be alright. Yeah, it looks like everything's pretty good. I'm carrying this around just in case. Yeah, just to repair it with. I'm assuming that's what I need to repair it with. The Eddie almost make you paranoid. All the red dots he sees. What's this? Oh, vipers. Well, they're easy enough to take care of. 
Okay. You got that one. That was a plasma grenade. How come I'm not targeting the one that I want to shoot? To the right. There yeah, you go. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Yeah, these guys like using explosives. Yeah, they so appear you, you probably to. want to charge them. Get in close so they can't do that. Did that guy die? Yep, that guy died. Oh, okay. So you got to keep charging these guys. Yeah, this thing is not great at... Uh, Bats. At, in, in even uh, moderate range, right? Uh, I think you just got to pray and spray here, man. See? You can hit at a much better range than that thing can bats from. It's just one of those kinds of weapons. Okay, well, uh... Oh, he's got some buff out and some jet. Good stuff. Mm. Okay, no, I don't want that. Hey, he's got sunglasses. Look at that. If yeah, I, see, you I, could use them to repair your sunglasses if you'd ever needed to. Yeah, I already, I think I already did that though. Right, my sunglasses are at a hundred percent. Yeah, it just took forever to find another pair. But I guess these guys carry them if you ever needed to come out here and repair them again. Not that repairing your sunglasses really does anything. No. Deposits another, another 120 blood packs on Eddie. Yeah. I don't know. I think it might be a bad idea after my first experience with uh, being separated from Eddie to uh, depend on him too much to carry stuff, though. Right? Okay. Um... So what is this place? It's like a deserted ghost town type place or something? I guess you could poke around. Looks like everything's all boarded up, eh? Seems so. Can't go inside anything anywhere. Yeah, just some old blowed up shit. Oh, look. Oh, those are empties. Empty sunset sarsaparilla bottles. Yep, I guess they uh, must have drank them all. Well, okay, fine. We'll be on our way then. Oh, she had some psycho. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll continue toward Good Springs here. What are we looking at for time here, anyway? We are an hour and four minutes. Okay. Well, maybe we'll find our next uh, person here. I see I'm at a branch in the road. Yeah, fuck the road. Just and go I wanna, straight. I want to bear to the right. Yeah. Just go so I wanna, straight. I want to kind of sort of go this uh, way. You road user. Well, no, because I'm not going to... Uh, road user. Get, I'm not going to find the person that I'm looking for unless I go this way. <clears throat> oh, there's some more of those things. Hey, I wonder if... Uh, yeah. Okay. All I got to do now is figure out how to draw the friggin' gun. Yeah. No, that worked.
I like this gun too because I can get a lot of shots off and vats with it, right? Yep. It seems like it's a... Uh... I wonder how... I think the range on it's probably pretty good too, right? Yeah, well it is a scoped weapon, so it... Uh... Are we... Uh... Yeah, you're kind of getting close, but you'll have to go off-road eventually. Well, unless the road turns over here, maybe. Uh. Oh, come on now. There you go. Nope. Nope. I want the 67. <laughs> okay, fuck it. I'll wait till he gets closer. <laughs> okay. Almost there. everything has a 95 now. No, it's not the punchiest thing in the world, but... No. Get out of the way! What are you doing? Like, don't just run around, hit the damn thing. Maybe you should take out your sniping weapon and, uh... Those things move around too fast to hit them manually, though. <clears throat> now maybe your sniping weapon could be 12.7 millimeters. <laughs> if you just spray at them, you'll hit something. Hmm. Uh, uh. Yeah, let's try this. Oh, there you go. Now that critical strike is really working for you, ain't it? Yep. This gun's pretty good, too. <clears throat> it's pretty accurate, too. Yep. Well, it is a small caliber handgun. Look at you, you're going to get all the critical hits with the one-handed pistols here. What's this over here? Just a dead person. Burned body. Okay. Whoop. Well, I can still harvest some blood, I can guess. can still get food from them. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, it looks like the road is starting to bend in our direction here. I still think you're going to have to hoof it there. Well, I am. We're getting fairly close, I think. Okay, yeah, it's, it's over here now to the left, right? Yep, just about directly to the left now. Okay. This is a different road. I don't think I've ever been down this road before. No, maybe, maybe not, actually. Or maybe you have. Yeah, I think you have. Bonnie if you go down... Springs. No, maybe you haven't. You maybe haven't. Maybe you haven't. Because I think this is the uh, road that goes past the... Uh, um, yeah, you're right. The one that goes past Sloan, Sloan and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So yep. this is a road I've never taken before. You're right. <laughs> it 
So maybe we'll try and... Uh, there's the Good Springs Cemetery right there. Home sweet home. <laughs> yep, we're back in Good Springs. Already. I guess it's just a little over this way. Yeah. Look at that bark scorpion's finally come back. Oh, I didn't have my drink. Well, that's okay. She'll take care of it. Looks like they're not much in the way of being threatening, are they? No, they're not really too too much trouble. Even at low level, they're not too much trouble. And especially at the where you are at now. Uh... I think you're pretty safe to walk around out here. What are those? Coyotes. Oh, regular coyotes. Well, we'll leave them alone. If they don't attack, we won't attack. Hey, look at that. There's like a big shiny cross over there. Okay, how close are we here? You need to go north. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. That way. Towards the coyotes. Hey, what's hey. this place? What? Hey, what? I mean, there's red dots all around. It could be anything. Another scorpion, whatever. Yeah. Eddie took care of it. Oh, here comes some more. Ooh, those are rad scorpions. Yeah, they're not nearly as threatening as uh, rad scorpions in Fallout 4 are, though. They're kind of like a uh, lower echelon enemy rather than a really scary one, right? Yeah, more or less. So what's this? Door to Abandoned Shack. Sure, let's see what's in the Abandoned Shack. Well, it's inside the shack is the inside of a shack. Yeah, I know, but sometimes you can find stuff in here. And within the shack is a bunch of abandoned things. Yeah. A book. A burning barrel full of fire. That's a perfectly valid way to uh, dispose of your garbage indoors. Yeah, I'm sure that that's perfectly safe. Don't need any ventilation holes or anything. Yeah, you never know whoever died or lived here. Maybe they died of carbon monoxide poisoning or something. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't take much to get carbon monoxide poisoning, actually. No. That would probably do it, actually. There's some steady there. Yeah. What's in the far corner there? There was something long and pointy laying on the ground. Over, over here? No, uh, opposite. Over here? No, to the left. That's not left. Whatever, if you turn far enough right, it will become right. It's a nine iron. Uh. Okay, well. I didn't see any golf courses out here, so... How close are we getting to this contact anyway? Close-ish. Like you gotta right climb up this hill. On the other side of this rock here, maybe. Yeah, go up and left. I guess. If you can go left. Well, I can... You can't go left. <sighs> can you uh, go left through this way? I'm trying. Stupid. This is the quarry. Yeah, stupid rocks. 
Yeah, that's that's what this is. This is that quarry that you were inside of with all the death yeah. claws. And I'm just gonna have to go all the way around this rock, and then I can go all the way back, right? Yep. Wow, I can't even climb up on that. See, it's like an invisible wall. I'm bouncing off of it. Gotta love it. <sighs> uh, if only they kept the uh, funness of acrobatics. Yeah. Well. You could be the first cowboy in space. Well, now I'm getting further away. Jeez. <laughs> well, if you come up here, then you'll be able to turn left at least. Hopefully. If we find our way to the other side of the rocks over here. At some point. At some point. Oh, well, look at this, see? On this other side of the rocks is more rocks, and hello, well, Sloan. Yeah, hello, Sloan, and I guess there's probably... I think we have to follow the road into the quarry, maybe. Right? Because it looks like there is no direct way to get there. Okay. Yeah, see, there's the road into the quarry right there. Yep. We've been here before. Hopefully the Death Claws haven't respawned. Yeah. Okay, well, it looks like the... The marker is straight ahead. How close is it now? Oh, okay. The marker is this way. Down out in over that way. Gets to the edge of the quarry. It's on the other side of the fucking rocks. Yeah, really. If that happens, we're going to pause and I'm going to fast travel. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't think you can fast travel to some place where you've never been, right? You could TCL and maybe fly through the rocks. A uh, note because uh, you have to jump through all sorts of hoops in order to get... Uh, oh, right. Yeah, you, the, you'd uh, have to disable your controller, then turn on the TCL console command using the keyboard, then re-enable your controller. Yeah. I wonder if there's a mod that fixes that. I don't know. But it's just a lot more trouble than it's worth, which is why I... Uh, I'm Don't do it. I'm actually kind of glad I haven't been uh, put into a situation where I've been forced to use a console command. You know, like to fix a bug or whatever in this game. Yeah, well, it is a pretty well-made game, actually, as far as games published by Bethesda go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm real close now. Must be right up here. Yeah. There's some people moving around up there, I think. Yep. <laughs> okay. That's close enough. What do you want with the great cons? Um, Regis says I should talk to you about speaking against the great cons alliance with Caesar. You can ask, but why would I do that? Carl told me all about the life in the Legion. He says I've got all the makings of a speculatory. Yeah, did he also tell you women aren't per permitted to serve in the Legion? What? No, he... What do you mean aren't allowed to serve? Why would he lie about that? If the Great Khans join the Legion, you'll be sold as a slave, an officer's light wife if you're lucky. That lying little weasel. I almost fell for it too. All right, you've got a deal. You can tell Papa I won't support an alliance. Okay, it's time for me to go. Later. I'm guessing that she came out here hoping to Deathclaw hunt, but I already killed all the Deathclaws, so there. Uh. <laughs> well, I guess maybe uh, we'll have to continue this uh, in the next episode, because it looks like that's a pretty long trip down to... All the way back down to Caesar's place. All the way back down to Caesar's place, yeah. So, uh, I guess maybe we'll, uh, just leave this until next time. All right. I'm not sure what the point of following this out is, but, you know, for 
the sake of completionism, I guess we will. Well, you get experience points anyways. That's what you were looking for. Yep. Okay. Because it appears that I am no match for Mr. House's security right now. <coughs> okay, well, I guess until next time. I'm Rec B5. And I am Sandman99. Have a good one.